the Rubik's Cube, one of the most iconic puzzles of all time. Invented by Hungarian inventor Erno Rubik, the puzzle has over 43 quintillion possible combinations, but only one solution. Because of this, some people deem it challenging, others deem it full on out impossible, but that just isn't the case. In this video, I'll teach you everything you need to know to solve your first Rubik's Cube. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a daisy on the yellow side using the white edge pieces. Now the edge pieces are the pieces that have two colors on them like these. These are corner pieces which have three colors. So anyway, the first thing we're going to do is locate all of our edge pieces that have white on them, which in this case, they're here, it's here, 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 and here. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to hold yellow on the top and then turn the cube so that way the white edge pieces are facing upward like this one here this white piece with green we're gonna just turn it like this this white piece with blue we're gonna turn this facing up if you ever run into a case where the white edge is on the top layer but it's not facing upward like this one all you need to do is turn the front face clockwise turn the top face counterclockwise turn the right side clockwise and it should be facing upward and just in case if you have like more edges you turn it the top clockwise so now that we have our daisy we're gonna bring all of these edges down to the white side to make a white cross we have the white edges on the white side and they're correctly solved so the way to do that is we're first gonna pick any of the white edges that is in the yellow side right now. So I'm just gonna go with green and we're gonna see the color that is facing us. And then we're gonna wanna turn to where that center piece is. Once we're facing the green side from the center piece, we're gonna wanna turn the the top of the cube in any direction i'm gonna go with clockwise for now until we get our green edge into the correct spot so this is orange it shouldn't be there let's turn it again and there's green and once the edge is in the correct spot you could tell because it the center piece is gonna match with the edge piece and you're gonna wanna turn the front side 180 degrees and it should now be solved so now we're gonna do this with red i'm gonna turn it clockwise now there is no white piece here so if there is no white piece turn the top clockwise or counterclockwise until there is the correct white piece so if we turn it counterclockwise here it's gonna be orange we we're just back where we started. So we're gonna turn clockwise again. And now we should have our correct red edge piece with the matching with the red center. And then we just turn 180 degrees and it should be solved. So now we're gonna do this with blue. This one doesn't even have white at all, so ignore it. Next piece has blue, so 180 degrees turn and now finally orange turn once doesn't have white ignore as we could see now our edge piece is matching with its center piece so we turn 180 degrees and our cross should be solved so your cross should be solved However, if the edge pieces don't match up with their center piece, like as we can see here with the red and green edges, they don't match up with their center. You're gonna have to bring them back up by turning their face 180 degrees back to the yellow side and then line them up to the correct center pieces. 
Now we're gonna solve the white layer. And when I mean layer, I don't just mean solving the white side. I also mean completing the first layer so that way all the colors, if you could tell here, match up like that. It makes sort of like a ring. So before we go on making our first layer or our ring, I'm gonna teach you these two sets of word moves that are gonna help us throughout not just making our first layer, but also throughout the whole solve. First, I'm gonna teach you the right-handed version of these four moves. So we're gonna turn the right side clockwise 90 degrees, the top side clockwise 90 degrees, and then we're gonna undo the first move we did with the right side. So we're gonna turn it counterclockwise 90 degrees, and we're going to do the same now with the top. We're going to turn it counterclockwise 90 degrees. And now is the left-handed version of these four moves. So we're going to turn the left side counterclockwise 90 degrees. We're going to turn the top side counterclockwise 90 degrees and then we're gonna basically undo it with what we did with the left side by turning it clockwise 90 degrees and then we're gonna turn the top undo what we did with the top clockwise so now here we are on making our first layer so we're gonna want to hold now the white side on the bottom and we're gonna pick a white corner. So just pick any one. I'm gonna pick this one right here and look at the two colors that it, that it has other than white. In this case, it has green and red. And now we're gonna locate the green and red center, which is right here and here. And that's basically where this piece needs to go. It needs to go right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring our piece that has green and red in between the green and red center like this. And we're going to perform the four moves. So you can either hold it like this and do the lefty version of the four moves or you could do the right handed version of the four moves and it should solve it. Now, when you're doing it, there is no certain amount of times that you need to do it and then it's going to be solved. You're going to want to be constantly checking if it's there solved. So now I'm going to pick this one and this one has orange and blue. So here are the orange and blue centers and I'm now going to bring this piece over and I'm going to do the right handed version of the four moves. So I already did it once and it's solved. But if it were facing a different way, like upwards, and I did the right hand, did four moves, as we could see, I finished the moves, but it's not in the right place. So I'm gonna have to do it again. But what if the piece is already in the bottom layer, but it's not oriented right? Don't twist the corner. What you should do is you should use the right-handed or left-handed version of the four moves to take it out. As we can see here, it's now taken out. So I'm gonna use the left-handed four moves to insert it facing the correct way. And now this one, it has green and orange. So I'm gonna insert it. And there we should have our first layer. Now, if the white side is solved, but they do not make a ring, then you need to start over by taking all of the corners out using the four moves. You don't necessarily need to mix up the whole cube. With our white layer or ring now complete, now we're going to move on into the middle layer. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to get all of our edges that don't have yellow on them and insert them into the correct spots so that way the cube looks like this when it's done or basically it looks like we're halfway through 
and we just need the top layer. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna find a piece that's in the top layer that doesn't have yellow on it. If you're in a situation where all of your edges have yellow on them, you're gonna wanna turn the top side 90 degrees clockwise. Then you're gonna wanna do the right-handed four moves. Then you're gonna wanna rotate clockwise. And then you're gonna wanna move the left side counterclockwise, move the top side counterclockwise, and move the left side then clockwise. And that should give you at least one edge that doesn't have yellow on it. So now that we have our edge that doesn't have yellow on it, we're gonna wanna look at the colors that it does have. In this case, this edge has orange and blue. So first we're gonna wanna look at the color that's facing us and find the centerpiece that matches with it, similar to how what we did in the daisy. And then we're gonna wanna turn the top until we get that edge and it makes a vertical line. Now, the top color of this edge that doesn't have yellow on it will tell us whether it will need to go left or right. In this case, it's orange, which is on our left. So what we're gonna wanna do is turn the top side counterclockwise, our left D four moves, and then we're gonna wanna rotate counterclockwise this the right side clockwise, the top clockwise, 90 degrees both, and then the right side counterclockwise, 90 degrees. So now we should have our first edge into its correct spot. Now we're gonna find another edge that doesn't have yellow on it. In this case, this red edge, and this one has green on it, so it's gonna go to the right because blue is on our left and if we inserted it to our left we would see that this would be wrong so to insert it in our right we're gonna turn the we're gonna turn the top 90 degrees clockwise and then we're gonna want to do our right-handed four moves then we're gonna run we're gonna rotate the cube clockwise and then we're gonna turn the left side counterclockwise, the top side counterclockwise, the left side, the left side clockwise then, and then followed by the top side clockwise. So we can now see this one. This one has green facing us. So we're gonna now make it into a green horizontal line. And the color on the top is orange. So it needs to go to the right. We're gonna wanna do our algorithm. Turn the top side 90 degrees clockwise. Right-handed four moves. Rotate our cube clockwise. Turn the left side counterclockwise. Turn the top side counterclockwise. Turn the left side clockwise and then turn the top side clockwise. If at any point you see that one of your edges is flipped, particularly at the end, don't panic. All you need to do is just get any edge that is in the top layer right now and swap it with this one. I'm gonna use the yellow red one and I'm gonna insert it to the left. So I'm gonna turn the top counterclockwise followed by the left-handed four moves. Now I'm gonna rotate the cube counterclockwise. Then I'm gonna do Turn the right side clockwise, turn the top clockwise, turn the right side counterclockwise, and turn the top side counterclockwise. Now this edge should be ready to go because we use this one to swap its place. So we're gonna turn the top side counterclockwise. We're gonna do our four moves and lefty. And then we're gonna turn the right side clockwise, turn the top side clockwise, turn the right side counterclockwise, and turn the top side counterclockwise. Now our middle layer should be complete and we're ready to move on. Now we're on to the last layer, which unlike the cross and first two layers, which can be solved intuitively, the last layer requires some memorization of algorithms. 
which are sequences in the cube that are used to accomplish things. The fast speed cubers use lots of algorithms, especially in the last layer, but I've managed to simplify it down so that way y'all can understand. So now that we're done with the middle layer, we're gonna want to make a yellow cross on the top layer. If you already have a yellow cross after you're finished with the middle layer, you can skip this step. And if you have the whole yellow side done after the middle layer, you can skip this step and the next step. So your cube, if there's no cross on top after you're done with the middle layer, should be in one of these three states. State one, which I call the sun, there are no edges that are facing upward, which is why it's like a sun. It's in the center, like the sun in our solar system. State two, I'm gonna call the bird because it makes like a V shape, kind of like a flock of birds flying in a direction. And there are two edges facing upward. Or state three, the line which is basically a line, of course, and it could be either horizontal or vertical. And whenever we're gonna be solving the cross, hold it in a vertical position, but there are two edges facing upward. So now for our algorithm that gives us the cross on top, if you have the line case, you're only gonna do the algorithm once. If you have the bird case, you're gonna do it twice and if you have the sun case, you're going to do it three times. The way you hold it if you have the line case is you hold the line horizontally and then you turn the front clockwise 90 degrees. Then you do the four moves right handed and then you turn the front counterclockwise 90 degrees and you should have a cross. Now, if you have the bird case, you're going to want to hold the bird or the V like this. So it looks like an L, but facing the other way. And you're going to want to do the same algorithm. Turn the front, the four moves, and then turn the front counterclockwise. And as you can see, now we've set up to a line case. So we're going to want to do the algorithm again. Turn the front clockwise, four right-handed moves, turn the front counterclockwise. And now we should have a cross on top. And now if we have the sun case, with the sun, while it's in just like a dot, it doesn't matter where you hold it, as long as yellow is on the top. So you're gonna wanna Turn the front clockwise 90 degrees, right-handed four moves, and then turn the front counterclockwise 90 degrees. And as you could see, now we've turned it into a bird case like this. So then we're gonna wanna turn it so that way the bird is facing like this. Turn the front clockwise 90 degrees, right-handed four moves, turn the front counterclockwise. Now it's a line case. And now we're gonna do it one last time. Front, clockwise, right-handed four moves, front counterclockwise, and there, we should now have crosses. Now that we have our cross, we're gonna go on to the next step, which is solving the entire yellow face. If you already have the entire yellow face done, you can skip this step. Otherwise, your cube should be in one of three states. <laughs> State one is that no corners are facing upward, just the cross edges. If that is the case, you will notice that there are two corners facing out like this, like a pair of headlights. Hold them to your left. State two is that only one corner is facing upward alongside all the edges. If that is the case, hold the upward facing corner on your bottom left. State three is that there are two corners facing up along with the edges. They're either horizontal or diagonal from each other. If that is the case, hold it so that way one corner is facing either 
away or this corner is facing you. Once you've got everything in the right position being faced and held, you're gonna wanna do this. Turn the right side clockwise 90 degrees, the top side clockwise 90 degrees, the right side counterclockwise 90 degrees, the top side clockwise 90 degrees, the right side clockwise 90 degrees, the top side clockwise 180 degrees, and then the right side counterclockwise 90 degrees. Once you're done doing the algorithm, you should be either in the state where you're ready to move on to the next step because the entire yellow side is solved, or you're in another cross stage. And in that case, you're gonna have to hold everything where that for that state where it needs to be. In this case, I'm gonna hold the headlights to my left. And in this case, there's only one solved corner. So I'm gonna hold it in the bottom right and then just repeat the algorithm again. Turn the right side clockwise 90 degrees. Turn the top side clockwise 90 degrees. Turn the right side counterclockwise 90 degrees. Turn the top side clockwise 90 degrees. Turn the right side clockwise 90 degrees. Turn the right side clockwise 180 degrees and turn the right side counterclockwise 90 degrees. By then you should already have the yellow side solved or you should do it at least one more time. So as we could see, we need to check what case we're in. There's only one corner that's facing upward. So we're gonna hold it in the bottom left and do the algorithm. Turn the right side 90 degrees clockwise, turn the top clockwise by 90 degrees. Turn the right side counterclockwise by 90 degrees. Turn the top clockwise by 90 degrees. Turn the right side clockwise by 90 degrees. Turn the top clockwise by 180 degrees. And turn the so right side counterclockwise by 90 degrees. And by then you should have the yellow side all done. With the yellow side now complete, all we have left to solve is the last layer. Now, before I carry on, I'm gonna advise you to really pay attention to what I'm doing, as if you mess something up, you could potentially mess up the whole cube. With that being said, let's get into the last layer. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is by just turning the top side, you're gonna wanna check if you could at least get two corners of the last layer solved either diagonally, like as we could see here, or if I turn the top side, I got two horizontally solved corners. If by chance, while turning the top side only, you manage to solve all four of the last layer corners, you could skip this step and move on to the final step. Now, other than that, if you've had horizontal corners, you're gonna wanna hold them on your left while being solved. And if you have vertical corners, you're gonna hold one of the solved ones on your left. And then you're gonna wanna do this algorithm. So first you're gonna wanna put the yellow side on the back like that and have the white side facing you on your front. And then you're gonna wanna turn the left side clockwise 180 degrees then you're going to want to turn the downside clockwise 180 degrees then you're going to want to turn the left side counterclockwise 90 degrees followed by the top side counterclockwise 90 degrees followed by a left side clockwise 90 degrees turn followed by a clockwise 180 degrees turn from the downside followed by um a clock a, a counterclockwise my mistake left face turn followed by a top face clockwise turn followed by a double move turn like this so that way this gets brought back and if you had diagonal corners, you should now have two horizontal corners. 
or if you did have horizontal corners from the start, you could see that now all four corners are solved. So you can move on to the final step. But if you had two diagonal corners solved, you're going to be given two horizontal corners. So you're going to want to turn the top until you see the two horizontal corners solved. Then you're going to want to make sure you're holding them on your left and put yellow in the back and then do the algorithm one more time. Turn the left side clockwise 180 degrees. Turn the downside clockwise 180 degrees. Turn the left side counterclockwise 90 degrees, followed by the top side counterclockwise 90 degrees, followed by the left side clockwise 90 degrees, followed by the downside 180 degrees clockwise, followed by the left side counterclockwise 90 degrees, the top side clockwise 90 degrees, followed by a double turn that puts all the white on the back where it belongs and you should have all four solved corners so now we're on to the last step of the cube which i advise you to listen very very carefully all the way through as if you mess something up here you're once again running into the risk of messing up the entire cube now the first thing you're going to want to check is if all four corners are solved if they're not you're gonna have to repeat the previous step but if they are your cube should be in one of two states now state one is that you have a total of three sides that are solved on the cube one of them being white the other one being yellow and the third one being a color that's either blue red green or orange in this case i got blue or you're in state two where you only have yellow and white that are solved state two can look like this or this now if you're unfortunately in state two you're gonna want to do this algorithm turn the right side 90 degrees clockwise the top side 90 degrees counterclockwise followed by the right side 90 degrees clockwise followed by the top side 90 degrees clockwise followed by the right side 90 degrees clockwise followed by the top side 90 degrees clockwise followed by the right side 90 degrees clockwise followed by the top side 90 degrees counterclockwise followed by the right side 90 degrees counterclockwise the top side 90 degrees counterclockwise and the right side 180 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise and there you should be granted one more side that's solved now that you have your third solved side you're going to want to put it in the back make sure that yellow is still on the top and you're going to want to do the same algorithm from before which is turn the right side 90 degrees clockwise, the top side 90 degrees counterclockwise, the right side 90 degrees clockwise, the top side 90 degrees clockwise, the, to the right side 90 degrees clockwise, the top side 90 degrees clockwise, the right side 90 degrees clockwise, the top side 90 degrees counterclockwise the right side 90 degrees counterclockwise the top side 90 degrees counterclockwise and there you go now you might have to do this twice if you did it only once there it is the cube is now solved i hope you managed to solve your first cube if you're still struggling, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you. I'll also soon be releasing videos that go in depth on each step. If you're new to this channel, my name is Edward and I run this channel called Zebra Cubes, where I do reviews on speed cubes and unboxing them. I try the setups of many of the world's fastest speed cubers and I even go to some Rubik's Cube competitions and vlog there. 
Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope to see you on this channel again. Bye.